Welcome aboard USS Cod. World War II submarines were dangerous places to be even in peacetime. And of course the Navy understood that. And as a result of several disasters uh, before World War II, the Navy uh, began instituting a, a safety program, uh, a multifaceted program, trying to make the boats survivable in, in the event of disasters. What we have here and what we're gonna talk about today uh, is the, uh, the classic post-war uh, submarine rescue uh, buoy, marker buoys. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about how, uh, how they were uh, built into the boats and how they were used. Hello, I'm Paul Ferrace, director of the USS Cod Submarine Memorial. And uh, we're happy to have you back aboard uh, for a little bit of behind the scenes history. What we see here today is uh, the 1952 rescue marker floats. There would be one up here on the bow and another one back aft. In peacetime, these could be released by the crew down below. Uh, they would float to the surface to mark the position of the submarine within 300 feet or so of the surface. Uh, so really only when you were on the continental shelf uh, close to shore were these things really a viable safety system but they would mark the uh, orientation of the boat for surface rescue forces. Uh, this float is attached to the upper hatch of our forward escape trunk through a cable. Now the cable would travel through this trough here uh, and would be attached to the hatch here by this bridle. Now we haven't restored the cable simply because it would be a wicked trip hazard, but perhaps someday in the future we can figure out a way to do that. Um, if you look here on the top of the float, it has a simple placard, submarine sunk here, USS Cod, SS224, forward buoy. Of course, the help is implied. Now, in addition to uh, uh, the bright yellow uh, locating color here, we had some other uh, uh, marker uh, aids here. Um, there were uh, smoke floats, I'm told. <laughs> And uh, also uh, there were some, uh, some lights that could uh, uh, help mark uh, the location at night. Um, after 1963, the Navy switched from high visibility yellow to an orange color, but our focus date for USS Cod uh, is 1953. So we went with our, our yellow. The World War II floats were actually much smaller. They were uh, vertical cylinders, almost like big trash cans. The same system, the same cables, although our World War II floats were located right here uh, on this deck plate. Um, these were used, of course, uh, only once uh, in the Squalus uh, disaster. Uh, her forward uh, float uh, provided uh, rescue forces with the ability to attach the McCann rescue chamber, which inched its way down. And this smooth flange surface right here uh, is uh, heavily built and smooth for the purpose of providing a, a watertight seal for the bottom skirt of the McCann rescue chamber. Uh, once that's in place, uh, the hatch can be opened and crewmen can uh, exit the escape trunk into the McCann rescue chamber. Uh, we try to maintain everything here just as it was in service. Of course, we did add the red railing here for our visitors uh, when they enter uh, USS Cod. Uh, thankfully, we, we don't need it today, but we want to maintain it as an important piece of Cod's hidden history. Thank you, and remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we'll see you again soon.